being able to help this particular species from a successful management of the, the population in a captive managed situation like in zoos makes our life a lot more worth living and uh, exciting. The oryx is uh, one of those, uh, I would say, the most charismatic species. Uh, oftentimes when you talk about uh, ungulates or hoofed animals. Scimitars went extinct in the wild primarily due to ex excessive hunting and also the vegetation or the habitat loss that has happened subsequently. The system that we are trying to implement is called the big herd scenario, which is natural to their social uh, behavior. We predict that the output of the number of animals that we will be able to produce in this breeding system will be significantly higher. The quality of animals that we will be producing will also be much better in terms of the social skills because they are in a herd, they are learning from one another, um, and the overall cost of producing some of these offspring is also going to be significantly lower compared to just having two animals and trying to breed and trying to get young animals produced for the genetic management. We have done extensive amount of work on these animals in the past. This is also the place where most of the artificial insemination technology for the scimitar and oryx was developed. And I would say we were amongst the first to successfully produce live offspring in the species by artificial insemination, both using fresh and frozen sperm. And beyond that, we are also exploring new breeding systems to see how can we maximize reproduction in these animals so that we can maintain healthy, sociable animals in the future.